Good day, everybody. Everything new under the sun. This is uh, part three of the series, uh, Nuclear Weapons in the Bible, and looking at the kind of common, common verses that seem to indicate a nuclear weapon. And we're going to talk about Isaiah 17. Now, um, I've, I've thought that this uh, could be a nuclear weapon uh, being used here, and of course it speaks to the destruction of uh, Damascus. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city. It shall be a ruinous seat. Now, Damascus is the longest uh, inhabited city in the world. It has never been uh, completely destroyed. So this is a yet future prophecy out of uh, chapter 17 of Isaiah. But it's uh, predicting uh, it will become a ruinous seat. The cities of Aurora are forsaken for uh, shall be uh, they shall be for flocks uh, which shall lie down and none shall make them afraid that means there's flocks there and and there's no humans around to scare them off it's just animals living there the fortress also shall cease from Ephraim and the kingdom from Damascus so it looks like the the, the government the leadership the kingdom of uh, Syria as a whole uh, is really been taken out of the picture, and of course we know Bashar Assad, his 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 kingdom, if you will, is uh, you know being taken from him from the civil wars. He he controls just Damascus and a couple large cities in terms of his military, and at some point, according to this prophecy, um, that will be uh, completely removed. It says, "They shall be as the glory of the children of Israel," saith of the Lord, um, uh, speaking of the remnant of Syria, and in that day it shall come to pass that the glory of Jacob shall be made thin, uh, <clears throat> and the fatness of his flesh shall wax lean. So it's, uh, Jacob, speaking of uh, Israel, uh, I believe, um, Israel is going to be in hard economic times. Uh, the glory of Jacob shall be made thin, the fatness of his flesh, the wealth, the abundance shall wax lean. So it's going to be in hard times. And during those hard times is when this destruction of Damascus happens. So it looks like it's Israel <clears throat> doing this. Well, there's a couple of things, of course, uh, as we as, as we as we take a look at a you know a ruinous heat, and the cities of Aurora where there are flocks, uh, you know, just uh, being there, not being scared by humans. Um, thoughts go to uh, Chernobyl, uh, where um, it's uh, it uninhabited because of the nuclear disaster. Uh, there's a, a great, uh, a massive a nuclear uh, uh, zone where uh, people aren't allowed to live. Here's a, a look at uh, uh, a big Ferris wheel that was completely abandoned uh, because of the, the nuclear fallout. And you can go look at, at uh, various pictures of Chernobyl, and it, there's just animals living there. <clears throat> you know, uh, It's as if flocks could live there, and they would not be scared off uh, by humans. So that's where we get the idea that... Um, Maybe there's nuclear fallout, uh, a nuclear explosion that happened there. Now, the cities of Aurora, though, aren't speaking of Damascus. Uh, they are actually a secondary location, which was apparently part of the Syrian Empire at the time, uh, but are not necessarily connected to Damascus. So you got to separate those two verses. Damascus becomes a ruinous heap. But the cities of Aurora are forsaken, and that's where the flocks are, are going to exist and not be scared away uh, by humans, as I understand it. So you can't necessarily equate the two. Um, it may be that there's a nuclear weapon in the cities of Aurora, but Damascus may be you know, taken out by conventional weapons. It will become a ruinous heap. It doesn't say it's never going to be inhabited again uh, specifically there. Well... This particular article uh, goes on to describe uh, three different locations uh, spoken of in the Bible for a roar. And one of those locations is uh, by the river Arnon. Deuteronomy 2.36. A roar, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and from the city that is in the ravine, as far as Gilead, that was not uh, one city, too strong for us. The Lord our God delivered all to us, Deuteronomy 2.36. Uh, so uh, he goes through uh, the, the three different locations where he thinks it is, and he uh, speculates that, uh, you know what, uh, he thinks it's near uh, Demona, the Demona power plant. And that is, of course, a nuclear uh, uh, power plant. 
And so could there be, uh, you know, some warfare there where uh, Demona itself is destroyed? And here's the image that he has. So he has uh, the, the city, I don't know if you can see on the left-hand side, uh, the, the, the black line at the bottom there. It's pointing to uh, a roar. Let me see. There we go. It's pointing to a roar. And again, uh, this is uh, to the left of the Dead Sea here, to the east of the Dead Sea. And, uh, oh, yeah, you can see Demona on uh, on the right side, where Demona seems to match <clears throat> a roar in the kind of original and modern day map. So is there uh, some, uh, did, does Iran attack Demona and, and uh, cause it, there to be nuclear fallout there where humans aren't going to live anymore? And again, is that uh, associated to uh, Damascus? Well, that's up for you. Maybe maybe the same thing happens or maybe there are two, two separate things. Uh, this uh, particular one from BibleAtlas.org <clears throat> Uh, shows Aurora, which is one of the uh, three locations uh, described in that particular blog, as being on the River Arnon. Now, the River Arnon is beside the Dead Sea. So you can see here uh, in uh, the image, <clears throat> again, a city, uh, Aurora, and this is in modern-day uh, Jordan, uh, on the, the River Ar uh, Arnon, and that's the, the river you see uh, below there. It's hard to see, I know, in the image. Here is a bigger image of it. You can see the Dead Sea uh, to the left. And uh, that point there is the Arnon River. And then if you keep following it to the right, you'll see Aurora. Uh, again, a little bit hard to see, small words, small text. Uh, but that there on, uh, 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 as, uh, as it relates to Aurora uh, in Isaiah 17. So a few different locations. What, what is also interesting I find on this one is uh, look at the bottom there. It says uh, Sodom question mark and Gomorrah in those gray areas um, at the bottom of the Dead Sea. Uh, that's an, that's a whole other topic. But suffice it to say, there's a question as to where a roar is as it relates to Isaiah 17. Is there a nuclear weapon being used here? Uh, again, you know, when, when a whole city becomes a, a ruinous heap, that is a big weapon or a lot of, you know, carpet bombing or conventional weapons. <clears throat> In this day and age, it would likely be a, a nuclear weapon that would cause a complete city uh, that has been inhabited uh, continuously uh, for as long as we know, uh, for thousands of years, uh, to become a ruinous heap. It would require that sort of uh, massive weapon. Four, um, the cities of Aurora. Uh, could uh, again, could it be uh, that they are indeed uh, related to uh, or around the uh, nuclear power plant Demona? There could be a nuclear disaster there. So it's it's one of those verses that you can look into, and uh, yeah, potentially uh, it does reveal uh, a nuclear weapon in the Bible. So read it. You can check it out for yourself, and uh, uh, you know, Google the cities of Aurora, find out where they are, and uh, certainly. The text there is uh, very interesting, uh, but it certainly relates to a time where Israel is in uh, significant uh, trouble. Uh, its wealth is waxing lean. Uh, it is having trouble, and it sounds like they're uh, in a corner. And if they are backed into a corner and uh, their uh, wealth and maybe their food and, and their riches are, are waxing lean or are, are diminishing, uh, then uh, they could act out in this way against their enemies who are hitting them and take out Damascus and uh, there could be nuclear weapons involved. Of course, we knew that Israel has nuclear weapons and also that Iran is working on nuclear weapons and likely already has them, has dirty bombs of some sort, again, which would, um, <clears throat> which could cause the fulfillment of um, the flocks uh, being basically lying down, the animals lying down without fear of humans because humans have evacuated the area because of nuclear fallout and radiation there. All right, I'll leave it there uh, so you guys can uh, look into that if you want, uh, but uh, some interesting details. So we'll continue to look at, uh, in the next episode, uh, nuclear, nuclear weapons in the Bible. Are there other any other indications uh, of them? And check out the prior two videos um, where we spoke of uh, uh, Zechariah uh, and uh, uh, Ezekiel uh, 38. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll leave there. We'll see you in the next video.